Hi guys, today I want to try to film a different video. This is, I think people call it weekly makeup basket. I think I wouldn't do it every week because I don't rotate my products that often, but I do want to show you what I am currently using every once in a while, maybe every two, three weeks, I don't know. We'll see. I just keep everything into this little tray that I got from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. And I will link the product information down below if you're interested. But as you can see, it's just kind of a plastic tray that has dividers in the middle. And I just set it on my vanity when I do my makeup. Everything that I need for my face are all in here, except for my palette, of course. So I think that's a nice way for me to focus on products and not to be distracted by other things. So first I have my foundation from Urban Decay. This is their Naked Skin in the color 3.0. This is currently in my Finish 7 by Spring project and I am almost done with it. So I'm using it every day. Hopefully I can finish that soon. And then I have a setting spray here. Well, I am not going with the order how I apply them on my face. I'm just going in the order of the compartments <laughs> of this little tray. The next one I have is a setting spray. I don't think it's meant to be a setting spray to begin with, but that's what I use it for and I think it works just fine. Then I have a gel eyeliner from L'Oreal. This is their Infallible Lacquer Liner 24 Hours and it is in the color navy. So it's just a very nice gel eyeliner and I like it a lot. And as you can see, I have a little pen inside. So I don't know, I want to work on this a little bit more and this is part of the makeup I want to finish in 2016. And also I have a Maybelline color tattoo in the color Tough as Taupe. So this one, I put it here, it's because I think it's drying out. As you can see, the sides are kind of pulling now. So I want to try to figure out a way if I can incorporate it into my everyday look. And if it works out, I want to start using it. Then I have a few smaller size products. The first one is a concealer pencil from Urban Decay. It is in the color Sia. So as you can see, it's a pencil concealer and I don't have much left at all. It is definitely very light. I think it's the lightest shade that they had in the entire line. So I use it under my eyes. I don't think it's too dry under my eyes, so I like that. Then I have a mascara. This is a sample size from Lorac. This is their Cobra mascara. I have this guy from my 365 Days of Samples, and I like to layer a lot of mascaras, so you will see more mascaras later too. Then I have an eyeshadow primer from Cargo. This is Picture Perfect Eyeshadow Primer. And this one is also in my Finish 7 by Spring Challenge, I think. And I definitely have quite a bit to go and I don't think I can finish that before the end of a project. But whatever, I'm happy to use it. I usually use this first and then use Maybelline Color Tattoo or some sort of cream eyeshadow on top of it. Then I have another eyeshadow base that I rotate between the color tattoo, this one, and then one more you will see later. So this one is from Urban Decay. This is a pencil form. I think it's 24-7 Glide On Shadow Pencil. Um, this one is in the color Sin, and I don't have a whole lot left either. This is also in part of my makeup products I want to finish up in 2016. And then I also have a face primer. This is from Lorac. It is their Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. So it's a sample size and I am almost done with it. This also came from my 365 Days of Samples and I want to use that up soon. Then I have a little eyeshadow quad. I am gonna cover one shade out of this quad just so that I don't spoil my um, project tin pan results. So I've been working on one shade out of the quad, which here is a better way for me to cover it. And the rest of the shades, well, right here, this is eyeshadow primer and those two shades, I'm not using them. I'm just focusing on this one particular shade and I broke the lid. So it's just standing in my tray like that. 
and I am almost done with that shade so um, if you want to see how far I've gone through please check out my project tin pan then I have two blushes in my rotation the first one is from cargo this is a sample blush it is in the color Bally so it is a very pretty lighter pink with a little purple sheen kind of blush and this is what I have on my cheeks today and I quite like it. I want to use this up in 2016 so I just started working on it because this has the least content in it. It only has 2.5 grams so I think I should be able to finish that fairly quickly and I want to hit pan before I put it into any sort of project. I just don't think I can finish the whole blush in some project so I'm trying to hit pan first. I also have another blush. This one is from MAC and I'm a little torn what I'm going to do with it. It is their extra dimension blush in the color Flaming Chic. This is also part of my makeup products I want to finish up in 2016. It is a very pretty kind of darker pink shade. But the problem is that it really just doesn't show up on my cheeks no matter what kind of brushes I use. It just doesn't show up and the only way I can make it work is to use a bobby pin to scrape off the top layer that's why you can see a lot of scratch marks almost on the product and once I get some loose powder then I can dip my brush into the product and then use it that way or otherwise it just wouldn't show up but it's just too much trouble to try to crumble it all the time so I haven't decided what to do with it yet I was thinking maybe I would completely repress the product, maybe it will work, or maybe I should just crush up like a quarter of it and put it in some sort of container and use it that way. I don't know. Do you guys have any suggestions? Please let me know when you have a blush that's kind of, I don't think it's heart pan because a swatch is kind of fine. It just doesn't really show up on my cheeks. See, it swatches just fine. So I don't know what the deal is. Please let me know if you have experience with this. Then I have my other cream eyeshadow base kind of thing. It is from Tarte. It is cream eyeshadow in the color Shimmering Taupe. I think this is in my Finish 7 by Spring as well. And I don't have a whole lot left and I am really growing tired of it. I don't know. I hope this will end soon and I'm trying to be more focused on it and not get too distracted by my Urban Decay pencil in Sin and also the Maybelline Color Tattoo. Then powder wise I have two. The first one is Rimmel Stay Matte and for the same thing I don't want to spoil my um, progress on my Project Tin Pan so I'm not going to show you where I am but um, just that you know I am very close to the end now and I have it in the color transparent. Then the other powder is from Wet n Wild. This is Reserve Your Cabana. So this one I use it sometimes as all over face setting powder. Sometimes I use it as highlighter. Depends on the situation. I think now since I'm almost done with the Rimmel powder, once that one is gone, I'm gonna start using this as all over the face setting powder. This is in my Project Tin Pan, which will end really, really soon. And I for sure wouldn't be able to finish this completely, but I would just try to go through it as much as I could. Then I have a bronzer. This is my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. So I was only working on the bronzing shade, and it is currently in my Project Tin Pan, I think. And also, I'm very close to be finished with this, but I don't think I can finish it by the end of the project. I would like to just continue to work on it after the project as well. Then I have a few tube-ish shaved products. First, I have two mascaras. Those two, one is from Physician's Formula. What is it called? This is their Sexy Booster Vava Voom Volume Mascara. I really really love this packaging. Look at all the lace on it. It's so pretty. But it is definitely on the clumpier side and it has a plastic bristle. 
and it's very short and stubby. I like it, but not enough for me to repurchase it, I think. The other mascara I have here is from All May. This is Get Up and Grow. So this is one of my all-time favorite mascaras, and I've used quite a few of those. This one is close to being done because it's kind of drying now, so um, it probably wouldn't last me too much longer. Then I have a concealer. So as I mentioned earlier, I use this Urban Decay concealer pencil for just under my eyes because how light it is. And I use this one from Tarte to cover the rest of the blemishes and stuff on my face. This is Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in the color medium. This is definitely high coverage concealer and I love it. Medium is a little bit too dark for me, but I think the shade lighter than this, what is it called? Is it just called light? I forgot. That one is too light for me. The way I use it is I put this underneath my foundation so that way I can get the coverage from the concealer but also the color I get is from my foundation. Then I have one lip liner. I want to try to use some of my lip liners. I think I have four or five lip liners total and I never touch them. So this year, I want to make a point to start using some of them, just get a feel. Um, so this one is from NYX. This is lip liner pencil in the color nude pink. So this is kind of the pencil that you have to sharpen. And the reason why I picked this guy is because it's very nude, of course, and also it's close to my lip color. So I feel it wouldn't be too picky on the lipstick shades and I want to start easy and try to use something that I possibly could use. And lastly, I have two eyeliners. The first one is a liquid eyeliner from Physicians Formula. So we all know about this guy. I love this eyeliner and I want to try to use this up in 2016 as well, which I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So that's in my rotation. Then I have a nude-ish colored eyeliner. This is from Elizabeth Mott. It's in the color Pearl. So it's a very stubby short guy. It came as a sample size and it's very pretty pearlish shade and I tend to use it in my waterline on the bottom but the problem of it is that it's very um what you call it a little hard to apply so it's not very soft but the good thing about it is that it really doesn't budge around and it's like impossible to remove it almost a little bit. So I'm a little torn about that guy. I think I would give it a little bit longer and see how I feel about it. I might finish it or I might just end up tossing it. So that's everything in this tray and I also have a couple other products that are outside of the tray that wouldn't fit or I just typically don't put them inside. So of course, first I have my eyeshadow palette. This is my 2016 Panda Palette Challenge. And except for that one shade from All May, the All May Quad, all the rest of the eyeshadows I picked from here. So this is the palette I use for my eyes. And then I have lip products I am working on. And I have currently two lipsticks and one lip gloss. So the two lipsticks are both from Revlon. This is their lip butter line. The red one is in the color Cherry Tart, and the other one is in Berry Smoothie. And I have Cherry Tart on my lips right now. Then the lip gloss is in my Finish 7 by Spring Challenge. This is also from Revlon. This is in the color Pink Whisper. And you can see my update lines, and I have about half of it left. I think I probably wouldn't be able to finish it by the end of project, but I think I can finish like almost all of it. So I'm trying really hard and make progress on that. So I probably would give you guys another update in maybe two or three weeks when I actually rotate products out. And since you can see a lot of the products I am using are in my projects, so I wouldn't really rotate those out until they're gone. So thank you guys for watching.